Everyone do a backflip really fast. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Ezra. Um, back to record another recipe review. Got a lot of my boys with me. This was a highly requested video. Um, I did an Instagram poll earlier just to see what you guys wanted to see, and this one won out. So we're doing the anabolic macaroni and cheese uh, recipe by Ethan Schlebowski. I'm joined by Trayton, John. I've seen these guys before. We got some old. We got Cayman as well. We got a newcomer. We got Lynn. And then we got sure. some of the guys from the Olive Garden Pasta video. If you've seen that, if not, it's linked right here. We got Eli and Carson. So yeah, we're gonna about to start this recipe and we're gonna get anabolic. All right guys, so let's get into the video. Uh, just breaking down the recipe to make this anabolic mac and cheese. We've got a few different things. The first big substitution from regular mac and cheese is we're gonna be using this uh, chickpea pasta. This comes with 23 grams of protein per serving. And then rather than have all the cream, butter, and full fat milk and all that, we're gonna substitute that with some evaporated fat-free milk. And rather than normal breadcrumbs, this won't save any calories, but it'll cut down on some of the carbohydrates and give you a little bit more protein. We're gonna be making a little bread breadcrumb type topping with this uh, chicharrones. We're gonna crush those up. Then our cheese, the substitutions we made is I got this fat-free cheddar, um, this reduced fat mozzarella, and then some American cheese, all from Walmart for our cheeses. Then over to the right here, we've got our seasonings uh, to make this stuff good. So of course, salt and pepper, big one. And then we've got some mustard to go into the sauce to give it a little bit of a bite, as long as some garlic and paprika. Then I had some extra turkey bacon left around, so we're gonna chop that up to use as some bacon bits. Um, in the macaroni itself. But yeah, those are gonna be all the ingredients, or if you can look down below, it'll be linked there as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into cooking. All right guys, so just getting into the recipe, first step, you wanna get a pot of boiling water. And with the chickpea pasta, a quick tip, you don't wanna fully uh, immerse it into uh, the boiling water, like have it overflowing over the top. Like we just put a little bit of water in here, um, because it's gonna reduce down and evaporate and that's gonna become part of like our sauce to make that cheese sauce. Um, we'll use a lot of that water, so. All right guys, so while we're waiting for this water to boil, we're gonna get our cheese sauce going. So for this recipe, we're doubling it. So we're gonna do four ounces of this fat-free evaporated uh, milk. So we're going in with that here. This is gonna be the base of our sauce and then we'll add in some uh, Mustard here. Mustard on that meat, ho. So we got that in. Then we're gonna go with 10 grams of this mustard here. So grab a spoon, zero this out. Go in with 10 grams of our spicy mustard here. There we go. And then after we've got that mixed in, we'll put in our cheeses. So we're gonna go in with some American cheese because it's got some emulsifiers. It's gonna help bring that sauce together um, since we're leaving out all the butter, cream, flour, all that stuff. Um, so this is gonna help hold everything together in a cohesive sauce. So we'll add in a couple slices of that. This stuff just looks so great before it's like cooked. It just looks so neat. So we're going in with a couple slices of this. If I don't lose it before. All right, get that out of the way. Then we'll just go in with our cheddar here. We're gonna go with about three servings. So, uh, oven's ready. So we got, uh, what is that, 56 plus 28. I'm bad at math. Sorry, like 80. 84, is that all right? All right, so we're gonna go in 84 grams of our fat-free cheddar here. So we'll get that in. Zero our scale out again. Got that in. Then for our third cheese, we'll go in with some mozzarella just to bring everything together. We'll go with probably about two servings, so 56 grams in there. 
So now that we've got all of our cheeses, mustard, evaporated milk all in the bowl, we're just gonna give this a mix beforehand before we combine it into our cooked pasta. So just waiting for this to come to a boil, we'll get the pasta going, then we'll get our sauce going, then we'll get in the oven and ready to go. All right guys, so a quick way to add in some extra flavor to your food without adding extra calories is to add in more seasonings. And forgot to get some main camera footage of the seasoning going into the cheese mixture, but we're going to go in with a couple tablespoons of garlic powder and then a couple tablespoons of some granulated onion and as well as some smoked paprika. <laughs> So we just pulled the macaroni out of the oven. This smells awesome. We got the panko, or not panko, the chicharron breadcrumb cover. The crust is all golden and bubbly. So we're gonna get this served up, get everyone's taste review, and then we'll get into the outro of the video. All right guys, so got it all plated up. I got a bowl here. The macros per serving on this, I'll put right here, because I don't have them off the top of my head. But I'll put them right here. Um, but yeah, let's go in first bite. Uh, this looks awesome. Oh my god! Wow! Okay. Is it busting, Janelle? It's busting. <laughs> it's busting, Trey. <laughs> Alright, so initially, first bite, that stuff's way good. It's not gonna be like the same level of creaminess and richness that you get with standard mac and cheese, but that's not what we're going for here. We're going for something that can kind of scratch the itch and so we can get anabolic, get the gains, get the protein, and that's what this is definitely gonna do. A little lower calorie option while also including some protein into it. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna rate that about, give it an eight out of 10, I'd say. And it came together really quickly, this whole recipe, start to finish with filming. Took, about, took us about an hour. Just boil some pasta, put some cheese in a bowl, and you're pretty much done. So uh, let's go ahead and get everyone else's opinion on it. Then we'll wrap up the video. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll Everyone we'll slide that, that way. We'll slide this way. We'll slide in, take a bite, give our review. I'm gonna hit it with a <laughs> slide, slide, slide. Lynn, you're first. Oh, we can just do. No, one Lynn, you're first. One I already set it up. First. You're first. All right. Let me get up the shot. Keep sliding. Keep sliding. Take review. Pretty good. Give it a seven out of ten. Not bad, not bad. Keep sliding. John's up there. Solid seven, solid seven. Mark Queens. He just gets a spoon, no bowl. <laughs> <laughs> just gets a spoon. I'm gonna hit it with seven. Seven and a half. Mm. Good shit. <laughs> I'm gonna just say numbers, bro. Good old eight, bro. Mmm. John already half gone? Already eight. It's pretty much almost gone at this point. <laughs> it's 
about an eight and a half. I like that. Eight, eight and a half. Keep sliding. Keep sliding. Oh, that's like a that's like a seven. I give it a seven. Solid. <laughs> already ate it. As you can see, that shit was <laughs> busted. as you can see, uh, we did like the anabolic mac and cheese. Um, so we got everyone's ratings. That was a fun recipe, really easy recipe. Big shout best. out to Ethan Schlebowski for the um, for the guide, I guess. Made a couple of adjustments, but it turned out really good. Um, if you guys like videos like this, you want to see more recipe content, want me to review more recipes, like uh, do stuff like that then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, big shout out to all the guys right here for showing up, helping me out making the video, and for tasting the food. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video.